GGG, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, man, live. All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about how to charge somebody for freelance work, especially when you're a junior developer, right? So this is very simple. Charge for what your work is actually worth. Don't charge nobody, you know, $10,000 if you know you only have two months as a web developer, right? Charge them a, a decent rate, right? So you look at how people are charging in your neighborhood, your area, your city, and basically make an adjustment and say, hey, I have two, three months actually of web development. And then from there you say, hey, okay, so if they charging $20 per hour, right? Charge them 14, because you gotta understand, this is the beginning for you guys. You guys don't have no experience in this. And people could actually read that, you know? Don't come out of nowhere and be like, hey, this guy's charging $50, $60 an hour, when in reality, you you can't compare, your skills cannot be compared to those guys because they've been around for 20, you know, you know, for like 10 years and been developing in companies and then now they decided to do freelance work. Like, you guys cannot compare to those guys. Now, why would I say, hey, charge them, you know, $14 an hour, right? Well, you want to get them hooked in. So pretty much what you want to do is basically you give them, it's like giving them a little freebie at first. And then now they're like, oh yeah, this person is really good. Then next time when they come back to you for another job or they want to do anything else on the website, you come to them and be like, hey buddy, prices don't went up. I'm hot out here right now. A lot of people want my talents and they want my skills. So now prices don't went up. You got $14 before, but now you're looking at 18, 20, 23, 24. That's how you basically start getting, you know, your clients. That's how you start going up on prices. Like right now, if somebody comes to me and tells me, hey, we want you to do something freelance work. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not going anything below $45, $50 an hour. And that's like to a friend. And I'm just being honest. I'm not going below that because that's what I'm already making at my job. If I'm getting a, a good amount of money, I'm not gonna be going below that. You know, even to friends, like, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, don't do no work with no friends because it's hard. A friend might come up to you and be like, hey man, I only got $500 for you. Can you help me out? And then because he's your childhood friend and you know him for years, you come out of nowhere and be like, oh, and be like, okay, I'll do it for you. Next thing you know, this project is like a two month project and you're doing everything $400, $500. That happens to me all the time. Like that's why I constantly, <laughs> now what I do, I'll be like, bro, like I'm tired from work. I just tell them straight up like that. I'm, like, I'm tired from work. I can't do any work for you right now. You know, I'm booked or whatever. And it's not because I want to be an asshole to them, but it's because they don't value the time that I put into the work. So pretty much that's about it, you know? Like, of course, also too, once you get to a, a senior level, me, myself, I, I don't consider myself a senior level. I have all the qualifications, everything that I look at, you know, job openings where it says senior level developer, I pretty much go like this, check, 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 check. I have all of that. But me, would I put myself that title? Probably not, because being a senior developer, comes with a lot of responsibilities that I don't even want to have, you know what I mean? So I'd rather just be like, hey, I'm a, I'm a developer, you know what I mean? I'd rather have that that openness and that, that space to, you know, if I mess up or if I decide to do the work or if I decide not to do it, I have that openness. When you are a senior developer, it's like you have to actually you know, get a lot of responsibility. So like, let's say you might see a, a front end job or not front end, a freelance job that might say, hey, we want a senior back end developer. When you get hired for those type of positions, they're looking for somebody who's been doing it for years. And there's basically no, no space for errors, no space for anything. You know what I mean? So a lot of times, I, for me, I don't think the, the pressure that you get from those type of projects, I don't think it's worth the money. I don't. 
Alright guys, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. If you want to support the channel, just click on the links below and basically click either on the Amazon link or you click on the Udemy link. So whenever you buy an item, basically like a little percent, I think it's like 3 or 4%. We get it back over here at the channel and we could actually help out other developers. If you didn't know, we actually give 25% of all the earnings to basically all the other developers here that are actually subscribed to this channel.